Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. We are headed out to Chino, California today to visit with Danny and Renee of Portuguese Pythons. Uh, Danny and Renee stuck out to me um, at a show a while back. We were just hanging out, talking. They seem like really nice people, genuinely nice family, good folks, and um, we just always kind of hit it off since then. Uh, they were kind enough to invite me into their home to go film their top seven favorite snakes. So that's what we're gonna do. Now before we get there, I just wanna mention that for whatever reason, based on our analytics, over half of you guys that are watching these videos are not subscribed to the channel. And apparently it really helps out our channel a lot if you actually hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Because if you're really enjoying this content and you're watching it all the time, why not be subscribed and help our channel out so we can do even better things here. So if you do that, we'd appreciate it. Uh, let's go head into Portuguese pythons. Did this room already exist or did you like build it for no. so this? The hallway right here, there wasn't a door right here. So what we ended up doing is just opening the hallway all the way down and we just made the door and built this whole room. But we didn't do it, but you know, paid somebody to do it. And um, let's see, you got, you got the AC, mm -hmm. climate control, got a sink, which is crucial. And anybody has a snake room doesn't have a sink, man, I'm, I'm sorry. That thing is crucial. So you got your incubator right here. Obviously, all the snakes. A nice work table in the center. Uh, it's, it's pretty chill, and the temperature in here is nice. 81? Yeah, well, I guess it was 100 degrees outside. 81 feels pretty dang crispy. <laughs> um, well, show me, some of your, show me some of your favorite snakes. So, blackhead, leopard, cinnamon, and HRA, which is a cool reaction to what it does. Cool belly. So, making some cool hats with it. Yeah, I mean, not everything has to be recessive, too. Everybody wants to be recessive, but, I mean, I mean what's wrong with this? This is cord and some clown combos, you know? Not all of them, but I like it. You know, we got a rule here. You have to have at least one snake in shed. That's what I saw Renee. I was like, there's at least one has to be in shed. This one's pretty cool. Um, so it's a blackhead leopard. Um, it is uh, lavender, too. But we just like how dark it is. I don't know, simple. Another simple combo, but it still looks cool. Yeah, dude, those, those black... Patches on there are so. Was that was that that black when it first hatched out? It, it, yeah, it's fairly dark like that too, and even all the black around there too. See around. Man, it's such such heavy yeah. contrast. Those saddles are impressive, man. Yeah, mm. but then you had some blackhead leopard. I mean, uh, yeah, blackhead leopard pied combos too, and they don't even look that good too. And then you get other ones that are really really good. So I don't know. I guess just breed the best looking ones, and then hopefully passing it on do you guys have like a like an end game with your your breeding plans like is there some kind of end game or is it just a, a journey what, what would you say um well definitely ultra milk everything but uh diversity with doing the shows you kind of have to have a little bit of everything so we're dabbling with some true ghosts but i definitely want to see a lot more blackhead ultra milk out there do you have a blackhead ultra milk? we sure do we got <laughs> lots of them <laughs> i, I, I guess that would it. make sense <laughs> So this is a blackhead leopard Mojave Ultramo. Hopefully she's going to go for us this season. She's huge. Dude, and that was totally ne next on the list. It was organic and yet planned. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so working it into clown. And I believe she's paired to the puzzle, right? Puzzle, Dude. clown, pied, all the things. Man, look at that thing. It's crazy that, I don't know, I... I I've I've seen so many pictures of so many ball pythons, and there's something about seeing them in person like that looks so much different than any other adult ball, ball python. Ever. The color on that is not like anything I've ever seen before. But it still on. looks really like it looked really good as a baby, but it looks even better as an adult. That's why like it's that's why you like the gene so much. It's just because like from babies to adults, they don't they get worse; they just get better, right? So and there's still a lot of contrast, even though people say like, oh, it's just ultra male. It's like one palette like there's a lot of contrast on it right you can see different colors different shades like yeah that's a that's a fantastic looking snake man would you say that there's um i mean would anyone like have you pretty selective about the snakes you pick from to breed i mean that's a that's a pretty fantastic looking snake meaning like who we pick up from i mean who i guess makes an effect on that but like you're pretty particular about how a snake looks and like its own even even with regardless of the morph like how that particular okay, like example of the morph yes breeding. um yeah for the most part i believe so pick the best example of whatever we hatch out hold it back what we like and then go from there 
the, in the beginning, like you're just buying whatever you can buy, right? Like, but I mean, like, you start to get to a point where like you really want to be selective because like even look at dogs too. Like they're not breeding the ugliest looking dogs. Like they're breeding the nicest looking dogs, like the best pedigree, like eyes, everything. So it's like, why would you breed the ugliest looking ball python to the ugliest looking one? Like, why don't you breed the best looking gene to the best looking example of the gene so you get the best looking one, right? That's a super good question. I'd love for you guys to answer in the comments down below. Why would you do that? <laughs> I, I want to know. I want to know. I mean, sometimes too, like there's only like, if you're working a certain project, there's only a certain amount of animals that like available. Like I get it. Like you, there's only certain ones to pick from, but if you have the like ability to pick like a certain different one, like, or I mean a better looking one, then I would pay the extra money for it. Going with the theme, Blackhead Fire Mojave Hypo Female. So, like I said earlier, we're working the True Ghost project also. So, this is one female that will be paired to our True Ghost male for those he uh, VPIs. VPI, by the way. It's the only Xanthic. Um, but, yeah, she's a beauty. Love the way she looks. And it's blackhead, right? Can't go wrong with it. And by, by only Xanthic, you mean, of course, like, that you have a particular taste for... VPI. There are other examples that exist technically, but yeah. just not the in... good one. <laughs> just kidding. No, whichever one you want to work with. I was just, you know, knocking it. Uh, what do you think about it, cat? Is that the only Azanthic? The shop cat. <laughs> Roger that. Roger. Oh, I mean, Roger cat. <laughs> you chilling, watch on the camera, and it's just laser until we get home. So. Sounds like a rough life, Roger. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess does he uh, help with like if you ever do you ever have a uh, rodent escapees and like he helps with that or we haven't had any yet so don't don't yeah, knock on wood. This all right. So for everybody that hates pastel, I just want to show you that pastel is not that bad in the right combination. So I mean that's another another ultra male combo. So it's super pastel, super blackhead. Don't be putting the pastel at the end. Pastel, super blackhead, leopard, ultra male. It's one of our holdbacks for this sorry, season. Super pastel? No. <laughs> just one. So, pretty cool though, huh? I think the pastel helped it because it just gave it more contrast with the pastel being in there. So, don't be afraid to have a little bit of pastel just as long as you're using it correctly. Yeah, you can say that about a lot of things, you know, like no, ice cream. <laughs> it's, okay to, it's okay to have some in your freezer as long as you're not eating all of it every day. <laughs> have to mix it up. Not blackhead. We have a black pastel leopard acid clown. Wow. Dude, the head, the head on that is what jumps out to me immediately. Just... Oh, yeah. She's gorgeous. And then you get the belly. Oh, oh. I mean, yeah, what acid does to bellies of animals is pretty incredible. Very incredible. And her super dark eyes. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It's got that clown, still got like that clown teardrop happening, but it's mm -hmm. like even more oh we're working this into ultramel also we have a sister that's uh not clown version so double head ultramel clown but yeah she's definitely a favorite and then i don't want to give away the hail mary of the whole production but we have our final prize possession from last season Wait, is this is this the is this number one on the list is that what's happening right now we already got through we already got through three and two do we you already hit two? Oh yeah we did yeah all right, we're going. Oh, you guys are doing good. Right. Organized. This is where we're at. This is our girl. She's been seen on a, a few places, but Blackhead and she Leopard Ultramel. Wow. The she's oranges, purples. I know. She's still beautiful. Simple codoms making something so beautiful. Obviously, Ultramel helps, but so that's our number one favorite snake here. I mean, I'm sure there's others. She's my favorite. That's for sure. Do you concur? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Oh, I, I was going to say, I think a lot of these, like, like either whether you're a guy or a girl, like, I think if you're starting or, or want to do this, like, I think if you don't have either your spouses or your partners, like, participation, or at least, like, a understanding of it, like, I think it's going to be hard to be successful because I don't think you can do it. Unless you do it really small scale and, like, your, your family's okay with it, like, it's hard, right? I mean, I'm sure you two, like, we're doing it with the family. They have, she has to be understanding, right? If she's not understanding what you're doing or these shows, like, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. That's, that's very true. I, I wouldn't be anywhere if I wasn't getting support from the family. That's guaranteed. You concur? I definitely concur. <laughs> <laughs>
big thank you again to Danny and Renee for inviting me in and the entire family for making me feel so welcome. It's hanging out, having fun, filming some cool snakes. Leave a comment down below. Let us know which one of those snakes was your favorite of the group and why. And uh, again, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed this video, it helps it reach other people, which makes us very happy. So thanks again for watching. And until the next one, y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I'll see you on the next video. Aloha.